Hi, it is Marie and I'm back again today with another video. So I am a month into this semester of college and I've been pretty busy because of that. It is pretty customary to have your first exam and your papers and other assignments due um, within the, the end of the first month of college. Um, I had five papers due on Monday and Tuesday, this past Monday and Tuesday. Uh, so last weekend was pretty busy and the start of this week was pretty busy. And so I wanted to talk about college again. Um, but I wanted to talk about kind of my experience, um, what it's like to have cerebral palsy in college. Um, I chose my college with my cerebral palsy in mind. Um, I chose a medium-sized campus, um, although in all actuality I can get around in about five to seven minutes, uh, and so mobility on that level isn't really an issue. Um, now there are times where I have fallen in a crosswalk, there are times where I have tripped, fallen down the sli stairs, slipped on the ice, um, but those are all rare occurrences. <laughs> um, and most of the time I can get around without any problem. I can get to class on time. My real problem in college stemming from my cerebral palsy is on the academic side. Um, because of my eyes, my nystagmus, I have trouble reading. Uh, because of the lack of my fine motor skills, I have trouble typing and writing. Um, and so it takes me a while to do all three of those things. Um, and, and I should say that I, I don't use accommodations. Um, and I don't use accommodations um, because I don't really find them useful. Um, and no, I, I kind of know what they offer. I've never really looked into it um, because my thought on accommodations is that if I can, I will, um, and and for the most part, they offer. Do you want to take a test in another room? Um, do you want a note taker? Um, and you know, the different room doesn't really help me. Um, the note taker is a problem for me because, you know, I think the first part of learning something is being able to write it down. Um, so writing it down kind of helps me formulate my ideas um, and, and starts to get it ingrained in my memory. Uh, and then there's another problem with that, which is, you know, I don't really know how to read other people's notes. Um, now, I've learned uh, to take my own notes. Uh, I've learned how to write in shorthand. Um, and so th in that case, like, I have no problem writing notes because I can write it down pretty fast and I'm not writing everything down but the point is I found a way that works for me um, and it's actually pretty quite helpful um, I don't know what I just said pretty quite helpful okay um, but yeah so like writing writing is taken care of the reading and the typing I have trouble with um, and, and some of that comes from the fact that I, that I procrastinate, um, and you would have to go back to, uh, elementary school to where, uh, when I, when I couldn't do math, um, when I couldn't read well, I would kind of push all that frustration away from me, and I would procrastinate, um, and that's honestly stayed with me. <laughs> like I, I have terrible time management. Um, but having said that, even if I have to stay up till three in the morning reading something for class, even if I have to stay up that late to type a paper, uh, which I have um, multiple times, um, you know I will get it done. Um, and on my grades on aren't an issue. Um, it's just that, you know, I wish <laughs> I would be able to, one, not procrastinate, and two and three, read faster and type faster. Um, because maybe then I could procrastinate. So, 
and like you can see that it's not very conducive um, for my academic standing, um, for my academics in general, uh, to procrastinate, but I do. Um, and I think it's just like a coping mechanism for me uh, to just kind of like say I don't want to be frustrated. Um, because it is frustrating when you have to type something and just peck, peck it out or you have to read something that takes you forever to read. It t you can read like 15, min 15 pages in an hour. Um, and so in that, in that uh, it is frustrating. Um, but like I, I don't like to make excuses. Uh, and so I like to get stuff done. Like if I have to do it, I'll get it done. That's honestly my slogan, I guess. Um, and and I think going to a small small school, you get to know your professors. Um, so if I really had to, I guess I could ask for more time. I've never had to. Um, I kind of say, well, procrastination isn't really cerebral palsy's fault. It's my fault. Um, and so this one's on me. Uh, but yeah, and honestly, if I had more time to do stuff, uh, I would probably procrastinate more. Um, that's what they offered me in high school. Like, do you want more time to do this assignment? And I'm like, no, I don't need more time. It's just the fact that I procrastinate. And obviously, if you gave more, me more time, I would still procrastinate. Uh, and so I will say goodbye with that, and I will see you in the next video. Um, bye.